fucking awesome. Hello boys and girls and welcome to another episode of the journey of your life. And today I want to talk to you about creating your dreams, wishing upon a star. And I sure hope you have a big wish that you would like to see fulfilled, you know, that's a big dream you're pursuing in your life. Because if you don't, well, that's probably a good question, right? What do you value the most? What, what do you desire the most? Who do you want to become in the future? What is your ultimate destination? And that is something you can wish for, right? Wish upon a star. And you know what? The universe is always listening, so your wish will be granted. But I'll talk more about that a little bit later. And of course, there are different strategies that you can use to... I know, to pursue your big dream, to you know, have your wishes granted. You can, you can pray to God, oh God, please. And you can stare into tea leaves and you can rub an old wonder lamp and see if the genie pops up and grant you your three wishes. But let's talk about wishing upon a star. Because I believe wishing upon a star is something magical. Because uh, here you are, you know, your, your eyes are high above the horizon. And you're looking and you're staring into the dark black night, looking for that big shiny bright star. And then you find it. You see this big shiny bright star and then... This feeling comes over you and be like, yeah, you know, this, you know, what do I desire the most? What is my big wish? And it's kind of interesting to, to not only think about it, but also feel it. You know, feel that unfulfilled potential. Because I believe that is what it's all about. And when you find it, when you find that pathway to that unfulfilled potential, it also kind of reveals all your shortcomings and flaws. Well, who wants to be reminded of that, right? Um, so immediately you create a judge. You have this energy around you hovering all over you now like a judge and a judge is letting you know you're not being all you can be because we got this big thing up there and you're not doing it you're not pursuing it you're not making all the proper sacrifices so that's kind of a bummer right i mean who wants to experience that i mean wouldn't you rather go to the beach and hang out with your friends have a couple of mojitos you know dance on the beach uh, watch the sunset of course you do but then you know there is this void, this emptiness in your life for not having a big dream. And how are you going to fill that? How are you going to fill that emptiness? Well, I guess meaningless fun, maybe. And although it sounds great, meaningless fun, or maybe there's fun that's meaningful as well, maybe, sure. Um, but eventually it kind of gets bored. And uh, the, the more hedonistic lifestyle, I tried it a couple of years ago, meh, didn't work out so well for me actually. But that's, you know, that's my strategy. And maybe for you it works great and well, have at it. Um, so here it is, you created this big dream, this, this, this unfulfilled potential that you would like to see created into reality, you could say. Um, and now you have to put it into action, right? Because like I said, you have this judge hovering over you, now you have to take action and do things and the universe is going to let you know if you're not making the proper, proper sacrifices. The proper sacrifices, yeah. Um, so that kind of sucks, but also it's a good way, it's like this internal compass that it's letting you know when you're on the right path. That's, that's amazing, actually, right? Um, and also, I believe that once you set your mind to something, once you created this big dream and you, you know, you had this come to Jesus moment, you could say, um, the universe is going to help you. But, you know, the universe has a reputation of working in mysterious ways because nobody understands the universe. Jesus, that's great. Somebody should write a book about that. Um, you know, so the universe is going to, is going to give you pieces of the puzzle but it's not like they're going to be obvious. Like, oh, here's, here's a piece of the puzzle in the mail. Check it out. Those pieces of the puzzle are going to be everywhere in daily life. And, but you just have to look for them. You just like, you know, you got to sense the invisible to create the impossible. Yeah, that's it. Sense the invisible to create the impossible. So you got to keep your eyes and ears and all senses open. And maybe that's why I do microdosing, so it improves my sensibility oh, okay that doesn't make any sense but um, <laughs> um but you got to keep your eyes and ears open because sometimes they are they're presented to you in a very mysterious way in a very strange way and you know i also a lot of times it's, it's presented through people through other people now that's really great because there's this quote i heard a couple of years ago that goes uh, everyone you ever meet knows something you don't and of course that is absolutely true but what if everyone you will ever meet holds a piece of the puzzle of your big dream Wow, wouldn't you approach people then in a different way? Yes, of course you would. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, you can go through life without having a big dream. That's kind of a bummer. So find your big dream. Um, although there's no guarantee that your big dreams will come true. Uh, but at least it gives you something to do, right? It gives your life meaning and direction and purpose. And at least you have something to do when times will get dark. And they will get dark. Of course, they always get dark. And at least, you know, you have something to do when time gets dark. Because... You know, your big wish, your big dream is what 
brings out the light in you. So, and you're gonna need that when times get dark. Anyways, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. So, two thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's not that much of a big deal, man. Hit the subscribe button. Um, that's it for now. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs> much love. Bye-bye.